I don't know if I'm sounding pitchy or just being cute. We'll see. Uh, so waste reduction, everyone's favorite topic. Uh, we hear it all the time. So one of my favorite things to say, FinOps is not about saving money. It's about making money. Uh, waste reduction, Jason mentioned, you know, it's not just about saving, but saving is a big part of it. Uh, yet in Optimize, we, we can't ignore waste reduction. It is, it is using less, it is paying less, it is all those things. Um, this is a broad reaching group that was the last of the working groups we started uh, based on the top challenges from the state of FinOps. If you all remember the data.finops.org that we launched beginning of the year, we asked what are the seven top challenges. Uh, the top one was getting engineers to take action. So we did a working group on that first. This was the last one we haven't done, which was waste reduction. Um, and we asked this group to, we, we delayed on it, frankly, because it's such a big topic, we didn't know where to start. Uh, we asked this group uh, to start first with a definition of what that looked like. Um, and gonna pass to Mike Martin from GLG, who's been a, a big contributor to this. Uh, he's got a lot, of, a lot of things to share about the work group's work. I uh, wanted to also give a shout out to Joe Daly, who's not with us today. Uh, he's out on a medical leave. Uh, he had hoped to be here to share, but Mike gracefully stepped in moments before, well, days before to, to pick up the talk track. So welcome, Mike. Thank you for that. Uh, so everyone, everyone can hear me, I hope. Uh, I'm Mike Martin, full-time SRE and part-time FinOps fanatic. Uh, the other sharply dressed gentleman here, as um, JR mentioned, is Joe Daly, our working group's fearless leader and entertainer. Uh, back at the August FinOps Summit, uh, there was a breakout room for reducing waste that sparked interest from a number of FinOps folks, including myself. Um, after about 20 minutes in the breakout room, we realized that there was a whole lot more to unpack. Thus, our Reducing Waste Working Group was born. Uh, the goal of the working group was simple, and that was to define waste. Uh, every Wednesday for the month of, uh, where'd I go? Every, <laughs> for the month of September, we'd spend about, uh, there were 15 to 20 of us. Oh, I think I'm losing the slides. Oh, we're jumping around. Um, so, you know, 15 to 20 of us would hop on a Zoom where Joe Daly would mostly entertain us, but also get to work on what we today are presenting as our, as our definition of waste. Uh, as you could see, it took us a month to distill all of our conversations and bring to you what we agreed upon was our definition of waste. Uh, any usage or cost of resources which provide no value to an organization. So uh, as I read this to you all, I realize it may seem silly that it took a group of 15 people one month to come up with 13 words. However, a lot more than a definition came out of this slot, uh, out of this. Course. So si simple is hard. And this is one of the shortest definitions of any of the concepts we have. Um, you saw the like 80 word definition of FinOps I put up earlier, so. <laughs> Appreciate that. Uh, next slide, please. So uh, in that first uh, meeting, I was personally amazed not by not only the FinOps knowledge I was surrounded by, but also the technical cloud knowledge that all the people had that uh, joined the group. Uh, it was clear that everyone knew what they were talking about and had no fear in sharing their knowledge and opinions. Uh, after the first 45 minutes, again, we realized that a definition was not enough. We needed real world examples, we needed stories, and it turned out we needed our real world stories. So what followed was a month of interactions on Zoom, Slack, Google Docs, and Google Sheets uh, to produce what we are proud to introduce today as our reduced, Reducing Waste Project. So if you go to the next slide, uh, on the screen here is a snippet of what you'll find when navigating to our Reducing Waste Project group on the finops.org page. Uh, our real world stories of reducing waste broken out by cloud and an estimate on how much this could save your organization. So we thought it was important to not only define what waste is, but also how to reduce, reduce waste in your organization. For example, I, sh I share uh, how my organization used AWS Storage Lens to discover multi-part uploads that were literally burning cash each month in S3 costs. I also shared about how my organization mi migrated from GP2 to GP3 EBS volumes and realized 20% savings. Uh, giving us improved performance without interrupting service to users. Uh, next slide, please. So those are my stories but that, I'm, that I briefly shared, but uh, I'm just going to echo what Ashley said earlier, and uh, none of this would have been possible without the folks that participated. The working group calls and chats contain members that had titles like Director of Cloud Optimization, Financial Analyst, and even Engineers. 
Uh, but more importantly, we collectively represented over a dozen companies. I'd like to take a moment to recognize everyone listed here, along with the members of the working group uh, from the Slack channel uh, that took time out of their days to not only come together, but to produce this priceless information that you could use at your organization today. So thank you all. Uh, for me, it was truly eye-opening to interact with such a diverse group of like-minded folks. I got a ton out of this working group that I can show off to my organization and take credit for. Uh, but I also met some knowledgeable characters, including Joe Daly, that provide a, a uh, unique perspective, which was actually pretty incredible. So I'd recommend anyone here today that's on the fence of joining a working group or just you know hopping on the workout, the breakout rooms following this, uh, to just do it. Um, you know, jump in, share a little, but you'll probably learn a lot. And I, I think that was the biggest takeaway. Um, so yeah, next slide, please. Uh, now you've all heard my story. Uh, we'd love to, short, to share more with you all. And um, we actually have a reducing waste breakout room that's going to be following this, where we have members from the working group that represent Azure, GCP, and AWS. And we're happy to share our reducing waste stories with you. And um, show off our project and on the website. So thank you all. Thank you, Michael. I, I didn't expect so much of a testimonial and case study for a uh, working group. I appreciate that. Because uh, what, what I was going to say actually is listening to this that I, I love about what the working groups are doing. Uh, you know, you all have either bought software from vendors or worked at vendors and um, the stories that typically come out are case studies, right? They're like, this amazing thing happened and right. everything was great and we saved all this money. The cool thing about what this group and the others are doing is, yes, they're telling some wins, uh, but we're also seeing some challenges come out where people kind of failed. And we, we want to hear those as much as anything, right? Which is the the real world failings, the real world challenges, because it, it always, uh, you know, sunshine and roses. So thanks, Mike. Um, you know, if I can ask you, Mike, just for the yeah. part, partly selfish for our own reasons, but also for the others in working groups, what didn't work to that topic in the working group? Like, like how could the process have been more efficient? Like too many cooks in the kitchen, uh, not enough focus on where you're going. Like how, how do we get this better next time? I think keeping the group small. So like, like I said, each week was about 15 to 20 participants. And so that really helped. And what I could have done better myself. And I thought it's just interacted more where a lot of the group did interact a ton and we're there every week and we're sharing throughout the slack i wish i participated i wish i participated more i didn't see too many failures but maybe in a month from now i'll give you a better answer <laughs> and what do you think the group is going to tackle next uh that we are not or i am personally not sure of um but i know we're going to be going with the there is an index that i i'm looking at the website now and we fall with with under the um uh, I forget. I'm not sure. So I apologize, JR. <laughs> no worries. That's great. Thanks, Mike, for the time. Um, yeah, this is that, that site there. Please go check it out and contribute stories to it when you've got a chance, good, bad, or otherwise.